And welcome back to Gaming Mythbusters. I've got some crazy myths to test out today. It's going to be an awesome show. If you guys want to get involved in the next one, make sure you leave a comment if there's any games or myths that you want me to test out next time. But for now, let's get started. So this first myth that we're going to test out is a pretty cool one. Um, it kind of just tests out the realism, the physics of the game. Um, it does sound pretty obvious, but the way that games work, usually with textures and stuff, this sort of thing wouldn't have any effect. And it is that if you use one of the incendiary grenades that apparently it melts the snow. So if you find a car like there is in front of us now, and this is what we're going to test out, if we get the incendiary and throw it, it should melt the snow. Now, like I say, on most games with this sort of thing, um, if it's snowing in a game, it would just be a colour, a texture, rather than an actual thing that would change. Um, but we'll definitely check it out, so let's see what happens. So it's on fire at the moment. I know snow's not flammable, but the car has changed colour. Um, the snow's gone off it, so it isn't just sort of a colour texture thing. The snow's definitely gone. It's gone all off the top of it. One thing that I have noticed though, it has only taken it off the top of the car, it hasn't taken it off the floor. Um, we'll try it again, see what the vehicles we can find to test it out on. Uh, which one shall we go for? Um, I think we'll go for the truck. It's got the snow on the roof, there's um, snow on the front of it, the snow on the car, and all over the floor around it. So let's see what happens. Right, so we can see again, all the snow off the actual truck itself has gone, um, but the snow off the floor hasn't. Um, it's also gone off the police car as well. Um, so with the myth that if you use an incendiary grenade, it will melt snow, um, it's kind of half and half. If the snow's on a vehicle, then yes, it will melt it and the vehicle will go back to normal. But with the snow that's all over the floor, it doesn't seem to make a difference whatsoever. So this next myth is a request one. Um, to be fair, it's not one that I've ever tried. Um, so I'd be interested to see what actually happens. Um, and basically I've been asked, is it true that you can throw grenades into the base of operations and if they do go in there, that they'll injure the people that are in there? And that's what we're gonna test out now. So we're already at the base of operations, so it's not gonna take too long to test out. Um, if we get a grenade and throw it in, I think the first thing to do is to see if it actually explodes in there or whether it sort of cancels out or whatever. So we'll throw it in, we'll run up and there's no boom. Okay, so if you throw a grenade into the base of operations, um, it doesn't appear to even explode. Um, so it's not a case if it doesn't damage anyone, it doesn't go off at all, but we'll try again. We'll throw one in there, we'll stay out here this time. Right, so if you're outside, it looks like it explodes, but if you run inside, it looks like it straight away cancels it out. Obviously, you're not allowed weapons in there. I think that might be why. Um, so yeah, you can, you can throw them in there. If you stay outside, they do explode, but the only problem with that is you can't throw them around the corner. Um, and if you go in to sort of check on it, it doesn't go off at all. It kind of cancels itself out like the weapons do. So with this one, you can throw grenades in there, but no, you can't throw them far enough to injure people. And if you do go in there to try and get to the point where you could injure someone, they don't go off at all. So no, this one is not true. So the next myth that we're gonna test out is another request one, and it is a pretty cool one that I'm pretty interested to find out myself. Um, and it's involving the EMP grenades. Now, we all know if you use them near sort of like a turret and that sort of thing, it stops certain things working. It stops electronics that are weapons and stuff from working. Um, we also know with things like the TVs that are in the game, if you shoot them, um, it does the same kind of thing that an actual TV would do where the picture will go off and you'll get the lines on the screen. Now, the myth is that apparently the EMP grenades affect all electronics around the whole city. So if you use an EMP grenade near a TV or a radio or anything, that it'll stop it from working. And that's what we're gonna test out today. And like I say, I am pretty interested to find out if it's true, because I'm not too sure whether they would have thought to add that feature in or not, but yeah we'll definitely find out. Right, so the first thing that we need to do is get to the electronic parts store because we need to find somewhere that's definitely going to have a TV in there. And off the top of my head, I can't think of anywhere else that'd have one apart from the electronic store. So let's just get over here and take a look and find out what's inside. 
Right, so we're at the electronics store now. Um, this isn't the kind of one that I thought it was. I needed one of the shop ones that have got like the phones and the TV on the screen. So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna fast travel and find a different one. Right, so we're back near the base of operations. Um, I know the one around the corner from there is definitely a standard shop that's got all the TVs and stuff. Uh, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna run around there now. Um, hopefully we don't come across too many enemies. Um, I don't mind killing them, but it gets a little bit annoying when you're trying to do something in the game and you end up getting an ambush. But I'm sure we'll be able to fight our way out anyway. We're only around the corner from there now. So if we go down here, um, it's showing enemies up there. And I know I've got some EMP grenades ready. Um, I think we might have to take out a few people. We'll do that now. Right, so that wasn't too bad. Um, there was only a couple of enemies, but you didn't get to watch it. We skipped it. Right, so we'll go in here and I think I'm going to have to shoot a couple more people as well. Hopefully we'll actually get to find out and they don't sort of smash all the TVs with the bullets. So we'll just take out these guys and then we can test out the EMP grenade and see what actually happens when we do it near a TV. That's if we don't die of course, so you're getting shot. How many more are there? Is that it? Can we test it out now? Right, so when you shoot them, you can see the way that they go off. It kind of just cuts them straight off. Right, someone's shooting me. Let's test it out quick. So we'll toss an EMP grenade. Let's take a look what happens. So yeah, it actually works. It stops it from working. You can see there's a little electric flashes on the screen and it's cut it off. It hasn't smashed it. It has just stopped it from working. So yeah, the EMP grenades in the game do seem to work on all electronics and not just weaponry stuff. That's pretty cool. So this next myth is a bit of an odd one. It's not one that I've encountered in the game. I've completed the game, I've explored, I've messed around, and I've never come across this situation, but it doesn't mean that we don't have to test it. Now, the myth is that when you come across the bad guys that try and kill you whenever you're walking down the street, if you start shooting at innocent people, so civilians or your army guys, the ones with the little green bar above the head, apparently the enemies will stop shooting you because they will think that you're a bad guy as well. Now, like I say, I've explored the game, I've messed around, I've tossed that many grenades to try and kill that many people. I have seriously lost count. Um, so the fact that apparently the enemies stop attacking you if you start trying to attack the good guys, I can't see it being true, but we definitely need to find out. Now, the first thing that we need to do is to try and find some bad guys that have got some civilians around them. Um, so we can test it out and find out what happens when we turn rogue outside of the dark zone, of course. So let's go find some enemies. So I've been hunting around now for like five minutes and I haven't found a single enemy yet, which is a little bit strange. Oh, speak of the devil, we have some bad guys right in front of us. Right, so what we need to really do is try and find some civilians or some good guys that are in the way. Start shooting at them and see if we manage to take any damage. Because if the myth is true, then we won't take any damage because there'll be no one shooting at us. Right, so there's a civilian down there and I'm shooting at them. And at the moment, oh, spoke too soon. I didn't think they were going to start shooting at us. Let's keep running down here. See if we can find the civilian again, start shooting at them. So we're kind of firing down where the good guy is and um, we're still getting shot. A sticky bomb, still shooting at them and they're still shooting at us. We've taken some damage. We've not taken that much to be fair, so I'm not sure if it is making a difference at all. Um, let's try again. So yeah, I'm shooting right next to them and they're still shooting me. They're still trying to kill me. So yeah, we've done it now. We've shot some civilians right next to the bad guys and they still shot us. So no, the myth is not true. If you shoot the good guys when the enemies are there, they will still try and attack you. Okay, so the last myth of the show. Um, now this is, if it works, it's a bit of a cheat. Now it doesn't use a glitch. Um, that's why I'm featuring it in the show. So to be fair, I don't know if it works, but I would be interested. It's nothing major that affects the game in any way. It is more like the story and the missions and stuff. And that is that when you get your consumables in the base of operations, you guys will know you have to wait a certain amount of time before you can go back and stock up. Um, so with things like your, your special bullets and that sort of stuff, you get a couple and then if you don't get what you're after, you have to wait ages before you can go back and get some more. Now, the myth is apparently if you swap servers, 
So if you join a friend, um, if you just start a free roam thing where it pops up where you can join someone else's game, apparently once you've done that and you're in someone else's server, if you go back to the base of operations, it'll allow you again to take the stuff out of the consumables box and you can carry on doing so. And apparently you can do the same with like the weapons parts and stuff as well. Now I'm not too sure if it does work. Um, to be fair, swapping servers, it's still yourself, so I can't see why it would make a difference. Um, but because you're in someone else's game, it could work, but we'll definitely find out. So we just need to wait for the loading screen and then we'll go back there. Right, so as you can see, we're now in someone else's game. You can see the little blue dots on the map. Um, at the bottom right and one near the base of operations. We did start off in a different safe house for some reason uh, So we need to fast travel back there and we'll do that now Okay, so we're back at the base of operations. You can see at the bottom right. There's more people in the game This isn't one that I've invited people to mine um, I sort of did the one where it comes up join and you hold it and it cuts you off and then sticks you in someone else's So we're back in the base of operations So all we're gonna do is go back to the same room and see if it lets us get the consumables again if it does the myth is true if it doesn't then unfortunately it is not but we will soon find out so the consumable box is here and nothing's coming up it's not letting us open it so no it doesn't work at all so no um, if you swap servers you can't cheat you can't cheat getting your consumables and keep going back unfortunately but hey well that is it for another episode of gaming mythbusters i know i know boo but don't worry we will be back next week now if you guys do want to get involved if you've got any games that you want me to test out if you've got any myths in games that i've already done that you want me to test out leave a comment down below and i will definitely check it out you can also hit me up on twitter that you can see at the top of your screen right now again any questions anything to do with any of my videos or if you just want to join in the conversation definitely follow me on there i do also run a couple of competitions on there now and they get now and again when we hit milestones on twitter youtube that sort of stuff so definitely take a look well that's it for this one anyway guys i hope you have enjoyed the video if you have please hit that like button don't forget to subscribe if you are new to the channel but thanks for watching guys and i'll catch you next time